Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video I want to talk about the Mandela Effect. Mandela Effect is where people have false memories like basically if you see a logo and it looks a little bit different to how you remember and you thought oh it must be changed but then you research it then it's always been how it still is today. So like events you remember differently to what actually happened in our timeline. The reason why it's called the Mandela Effect because Nelson Mandela, um, people remember Nelson Mandela dying in um, prison back in the 80s, and which is which is super weird to be honest. And so many people remember him dying, and some people remember having news articles about it. But no, he didn't die. In prison in the 1980s, he died in 2013. When, um, when he actually died on the news, I remember myself thinking, wait, wasn't he already dead? So I'm probably one of those people who remember learning, because I wasn't born in the 80s, I was born in the late 90s, and, um, I remember growing up and being told that Nelson Mandela died in the prison in prison in the 1980s. But in this video, I'm going to discuss about some of like Mandela effects and which ones do you remember and and basically stuff like that. As you can see already on the screen, which spelling of Looney Tunes do you remember? I give you a second to think about it. If you said T O O N S, then you're wrong. It's always been Looney Tunes, as in music tunes. Which, me personally, I remember Looney Tunes, T O O N S. I literally remember looking at the screen as a kid, and it's just Looney Tunes, like cartoons. And tunes, when I found out it's tunes, I was like, I was really confused. Like for me personally, in school, I was doing something for English. I wrote down Looney Tunes, like T O O T W O N S. The teacher marked it wrong to tunes. I was like confused, and she was like, "You spelled Looney Tunes wrong." I was like, "What?" She's like, "No, it's T U N E S." I was like, "No, it ain't." She was like, "Yes, it is," and she showed me on a computer because she was at the computer, and it was always been Looney Tunes, which that really freaked me out. But I thought, okay, I must have got it wrong. But so many other people got the same thing wrong with what I did, and which and that really confused me. This next Mandela effect I remember really well is the Pikachu's tail. Which one? I give you a second. Which one of these Pikachu feel right to you? Which one do you remember him having? If you said right, if you said um with the black tail, black tip on his tail then you're wrong. His towel always been purely yellow. This also confused me because I remember Pikachu having the black tip on his tail. Um, in recent years I remember him having the yellow tail because um, sorry about that people could text me. Um, I remember Pikachu with a black tip tail but also remember him with a yellow tail in my later years of my life. Like the yellow tail I remember him in Brawl, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which I first played it. That's the first time I realised his tail looks different, but I thought nothing of it, I just thought they'd changed the character. But with the black tip tail, that's how I remember from my younger days. And I literally have drawings of Pikachu from school of him, and I even marked where the tail used to be, which is very strange. The next Bandello effect. Which one of these two do you remember? Is it Luke, I am your father, or no, I am your father? Which one is it? It give you a second to think about it. If you said Luke, if you think Luke, I am your father, then you're wrong. It's always been no, I'm your father. This one hasn't really got me because I'm not really a big fan of Star Wars, but I'm pretty sure it used to be Luke, I'm your father. But I think that's probably all the parodies I used to watch and people used to say, Look, I'm your father as a joke. So I never I think I watched the film once, but I think I remember it as Luke, I'm your father. 
father. The next Mandela effect involves um, a book called the Berestein Berestein Bears. Right, which one of these spellings feel right to you? I'll give you a second to think. If you spell, if you think the Berestein is the correct one, then you're wrong. It's the Berestein Bears. This never really got me. It's always because I never read the books as a kid, so I'm not, I'm not really, I don't really remember them as much. But the one on the right is how I remember Berestein Bears, because I remember watching one or two episodes of the actual cartoon, which has always been Berestein Bears to me, not Berestein. So this one doesn't really affect me, but apparently this has affected other people around the world, especially in America. This one has really got me, so answer me this, does um, m Moneybags or Mo Monopoly Man, I don't know his name, did he have a monocle? No, he never had a monocle, it, which is weird because I never pictured him without a monocle. When I was a kid, I played Monopoly with my friends in school or with family, whatever, I can't really remember when it was. He always had a monocle. All of a sudden, in recent years, he never had one. Which confused me a little bit, but, you know. Next one is Subway. I never... I only started eating Subway a couple of years ago, and I never saw a pointy bit on the Subway logo. On the S bit. On that Y bit, then, yeah, I saw it then. But on the S, I never saw the pointy bit, which really confused me. Because I eat Subway, I love Subway, and I never noticed that arrow before. The next Mandela effect is the Coca Cola logo. This one never really caught to me because I don't really see the difference. There's only a little line, so I probably wouldn't notice it growing up. But which one of these is correct? If you said, um, actually, I don't really know the answer to this one, really. <laughs> but I think it's the right one on the right, because that's one I actually see every day, I think. No, the left. I'm confused myself. I don't know why I put this one in here. I don't know the answer. I don't really drink Coke, Coca-Cola. But if you do research, you will know which one's the correct one right way around, because I'm confused now. The next one, this one never really got me. Because I always remember Mickey Mouse never had any, you know, overalls. It always just were shorts to me. I remember playing um, a Disney game as a kid or watching Disney films. He always wore shorts on their own. No, um, no overalls. I might, I think I remember him wearing overalls in an old black and white one. But I never saw him in, you know, recent days of not. He always wore shorts to me. So this one doesn't really get me. I don't really... I don't really... No. He always wore shorts. Frosty Flakes. With, um... Tony the Tiger. What colour is his nose? I'll give you a second to think about it. If you said his nose is black, then you're wrong. It's always been blue. With me personally, he's always had a blue nose. Even when I was a kid, he's always had a blue nose. So the black nose looks wrong to me. The black nose looks just wrong. The blue nose looks more, you know, how I remember it. So it's always been the blue nose for me. But mo other people remember having the black nose, which looks odd to me. But, next Mandela effect. Which one of these two do you remember? Is it Febreze or Febreze? Both pronounce as Febreze, but which is the correct spelling? If it says Febreze with two E's, or three E's and four E's in that case, then you're wrong. It's always been Febreze. Febreze. F E B R E Z Z E. It's always been Febreze. But it's always been pronounced for breeze, which really confused me because I remember it being for breeze with two e's. It's really confused me that one. Ah, circus George. 
I never watched this cartoon as a kid. I think it's more of a recent cartoon. I don't know. I never read the books either, so I don't really know. But people remember um, George with a tail, as and in the current timeline or how he actually is, he never had a tail. And some people claim they remember him f um, swinging, swinging in the um, trees, and but he never had the tail. Which doesn't really get me because I never really watched the cartoon, I never really got into it. It's more of a modern day cartoon for me. I watched it once but I never got really into it. Nah, Maltesers. Maltesers is a British um, chocolate ball crunchy things. And um, as a kid, I always remember, me personally, I remember Maltesers spelling M A L T E A S E R S. Like Maltesers, which makes sense. But how it's actually spelled today is M A L T E S E R S. So where's the second A? Maltesers. It says Maltesers. So. Why is it called Maltesers when it's spelt Maltesers? Multis that really confused me. But I remember having the A next to the E. Maltesers. M A L T E A S E R S. That's how I remember it's being spelt. Really confused me because this was my favourite chocolate growing up. And that's the end of my video. Um, if you want a part 2 or if you enjoyed the video, give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll, I'll think I'll do a weekly upload and give my other videos a view and I hope you enjoy, your rest, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.